So here we go, yo, with the skinny scenario, um, starting with the tributes, pouring in for hip hop icon Fife Dog. Real name Malik Taylor, Fife Dog, was a founding member of the pioneer group, A Tribe Called Quest. He died late Tuesday at the age of 45 due to complications from diabetes. So young. The other members of Tribe, including Q Tip, of course, released a statement saying they are devastated by the news, as well as countless others, remembering the MC for his unique sense of wordplay. His lyrical flow, his fun loving attitude, but it's not just other rappers who were influenced by Fife. Check out the traffic reporter, Mark Aram, from our powerhouse number one Atlanta station, honoring the rapper by quoting his lyrics throughout the broadcast. You on point, Mark? Oh, we're on point, Fred. Absolutely. Seeing extra delays in from Stone Mountain Freeway, Highway 78, one for the treble, two for the bass. You know the style, Mark McKay. It's time to flip this for an award tour with Mark McKay, my man, going each and every place with Traffic Tracker 2 in his hand. Now, Mark McKay, are things ludicrously speedy or infectious with the slow-mo? Uh, infectious with the slow-mo currently. When was the last time you heard the fight for sloppy? Nice. Oh, man, that was awesome. The traffic reporter says A Tribe Called Quest was the soundtrack to his youth and credits Fife Dog as one of the big influencers in his life. He does traffic and rap. He does all of that and refuses to come whack. Good one, Brian. If Mark ever wants to do a hip-hop newscast, I'm in. Was that, was that good? BK, do you, did you approve of that? BK yeah. actually wrote that. He good. actually wrote that because I'm not that cool. He was no all proud. Rappers. Like in the commercial break beforehand, he was like coaching. Teaching, me through it. Coaching like, here's coaching. how you have to hit it. And then he laughed because he good one. laughed like this is not going to work. Nice job. Nailed it. Nailed it? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> but he needed to work in a little Bonita apple bomb in there as well. I'll, yeah. I'll perfect it for next time. Yes. Nice job. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Let's talk about uh, Bridget Jones. Back, a recognizable, recognizable, that's key, Renee Zellweger emerges with the third installment of the beloved British character. Okay, so we lost, last saw Bridget Jones in 2004 when she was engaged to Mark Darcy. But the just released trailer for the sequel reveals that she got jilted at the altar. So Jones is still single and working in TV, but there's one major turn of events. She's pregnant and caught in a love triangle between the two suspecting fathers played by Colin Firth and Patrick Dempsey. Oh. She doesn't. I'm pregnant. Ah! Oh no, Bridget. Who's the father? Is it Mark's? There's at least a 50% chance. A 50% chance? Did you have a three-way? <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. Bridget Jones' baby is set to hit theater September 16th. I look forward to that one. It's so good to see her smile mm -hmm. with all that Botox. No, Kenny kidding. G. Next, Madonna reaching it another milestone on the road. The material girl has been under some stress recently yeah. with a custody battle over her son Rocco and Australian fans outraged over the singer's extreme tardiness. But finally, some good news. Based on Billboard's box score archives, Madonna has now grossed over $1.3 billion on tour throughout her career. Her Rebel Heart tour helped push her out in front of Bruce Springsteen as a top-selling solo touring act of all time. And finally, a little throwback Thursday here yeah. in the skinny with David Hasselhoff going shirtless with a red swimming trunk here. Looking no, it's not good. 1994, it's 2016, and the Hoff is back on the beach. This image circulating online showing Hasselhoff in character on the set of the new Baywatch movie with the tough task of having to stand next to the rock. Yeah, that is but, tough. Yeah, the Hoff says that he has been working out for the role in the film reboot that is set to hit theaters in May of next year. Looking good, Hoff, looking good. 63. He not looks bad. fantastic. He looks awesome. Fantastic.